We have a couple of different poison dart frogs that we breed off exhibit in our climate control room. These are our breeding groups uh, where eggs are collected. So there's a single egg in here. Poison dart frogs aren't endangered. They are vulnerable because they are vulnerable in the wild. It's important to establish colonies inside of zoos to warn predators of their toxicity and allow them to go about their day. They have a lot of bright coloring and patterns so that attention is drawn to them. They're not poisonous in zoos, but in the wild, the alkaloids from the insects that they eat uh, allow them to secrete those poisons out of their skin. We have a couple of different poison dart frogs that we breed off exhibit in our climate control room. So these are our breeding groups uh, where eggs are collected. So we're just setting them up so that they can be in a more safe environment and grow them up to get on exhibit. The process of finding the eggs, uh, you kind of just have to go on a hunt for them, peeling back each bromeliad leaf. So a lot of ground to cover in here. Our eggs behind this one, I'm just going to remove the leaf. Some eggs you're able to cut away with the leaf. Um, you're able to just remove the leaf itself. But some eggs that are deep inside the bromeliad, you kind of have to suck them out um, very carefully and very gently as to not rupture them. Just a tiny little egg. When we find the eggs, we move them to these duct tape containers. And I'm just going to place it in here. Um, in a way that when they're ready, they can just kind of go down the slide and into the water. And naturally, like rain would flush the tadpoles out of the bromeliad when they're ready for like to be in a bigger stream. I have to flush them to see if they're ready or not. These guys look like they're developed enough to be flushed out. Oh, here they come. After they hatch inside there, we then transfer them to the deli cups. Um, it's just an isolated, safe area for them. Uh, we can make sure that everyone's getting food and not being outcompeted with each other. We're just going to nice and gently suck them up. Same wiggling in there. When they start to develop limbs, they'll then go into the brooder rack. It's a quiet, low stream place for the tadpoles to grow a little bit. When they first hatch, they can't handle the current, so that's why we wait a little bit to put them in here. And then from there, the final step when they become froglets is to be placed in these little critter keepers. This is a small condensed area where I can make sure that they're getting the food that they need. Today, we're moving on to the next phase of our baby froglet's life cycle. We're going to be setting them up in a naturalistic terrarium. This is different because right now they're mostly in an aquatic setup, and now they're going to be going into a terrestrial setup, making sure that they get all the foods that they need uh, to be ready to go on exhibit. They've been hanging out in here for a couple months together. So just going to make sure everyone gets off the plants. We've got like a big group right here. Hopefully they'll all come together. So that's group one. That was pretty easy to catch them. They're all sheltered together. Um, so one, two, three, four. Got six in here. The first go is easy and then they're kind of on alert. And I'm not touching them at all. I'm just letting them kind of find the tube. All right, we have all of our froglets. There's 13 in this batch. They all hatched out at the same time. So we're just going to open it up. And I'm not going to try to chase them out or anything. I'm just going to open these containers and let them find their own way. Once one figures it out, the rest will see. And like, there's one coming out right now. The rest will follow suit. They'll see that he's moving around the exhibit, and they'll try to figure out how to get to that direction, um, so it won't take long. Oh, there goes one. 
Like, he's right at the edge, about to jump out. Oh, you can see them next to each other. He's chasing it, trying to figure out what kind of frog this is. They're a couple months old right now. They'll stay here for a couple months um, and grow and get strong, and then we'll introduce them to the exhibit.